Hello, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your monthly astrology. To be honest with you, I didn't know if I was going to be able to manage to do this astrology because yesterday, my soul sister, one of the closest people to me in my life, one of the most amazing giving people that held me up and gave me back the energy, died very suddenly uh, yesterday. And I'm doing it for her because she loved astrology. She was the October Halloween queen. She loved October. She gave so much to this world. Every person she met, she touched with love and wonder and magic. And I want to carry that forward by carrying on and doing this monthly astrology in honour of my darling eternal friend, Lindell. So here's your monthly astrology. Aries, October has an incredible full moon in our sign. So there's a buildup of energy all through this month as our power, our emotions, our intensity is rising. And that is fabulous. There's lots of positive things that we can do with that energy. But do bear in mind that there are still a lot of retrograde action, certainly at the beginning of this month. And also when we have the new moon on the 6th, it is joining forces with Mars. So our energy, our power, our drive, and you know potentially our passion and our anger could be on the surface. So it's how do we channel that energy to make the most of October? All in all though, October has a very intense vibe full of possibility. We're plunging into the depths of our emotions and our feelings as we head towards Scorpio season. And we're managing our balance and harmony as we have Mars uh, still in Libra. So as we head into this month, think about what it is that you still want to balance and how you can balance your life to grow as we grow towards that incredible full moon. Mercury is, of course, retrograde, but is trying Jupiter on the fourth. So there could be some wonderful experience from the past coming towards you. And when this experience from the past or this idea from the past pops up in your life, the key to managing it is to know that you're different now. You're not the same person you were in the past and you can handle it. Probably the best way to handle it is with that Mars in Libra energy in a calm fashion. Now, Pluto goes direct, uh, bringing about uh, more drive for change from October the 6th on the same day as this new moon in Libra. That's quite a potent day. Again, it's about, well, it's about relationships actually and your balance and my balance because I'm an Aries in relationships. And it's also about letting go, which is obviously very poignant to me at the moment. But it's like, what what can we let go of? What are we letting go of? And what is, is the rebirth of that? How are we going to be reborn through what we've learned and what we've experienced is and what we're going through in terms of our intimate partnerships, one-to-one -one friendships and relationships? Because the new moon, particularly because Mars is involved, is bringing a burst of energy, a burst of energy forward. And then on the 7th, the day after the new moon, UK time, we have Venus, the planet of love, the planet of abundance, going into fellow fire sign Sagittarius, which gives us a boost. It, it wakes us up again. We've been feeling a bit meh because of that Mars in Libra. But with Venus going into Sagittarius, we're like, oh, excited about life again, wanting to share the love, wanting to be adventurous, wanting to learn about love, wanting to grow, wanting to blossom, but also maybe reawakening our wildness and our sense of adventure. With the sun joining forces with Mercury on the 9th, a conversation perhaps needs to be had in terms of a close relationship or a partnership. Saturn is starting to go direct on October the 11th. We're just starting to feel, you know, this big drag we've had to the past go forward. And then Jupiter goes direct on the 18th. And finally, also on the same day, Mercury stations direct. So yes, we may have felt sort of tugged back and unable to go forward, but it, it's a build up. We're building up to by the time the full moon in Aries comes, we're ready to go, 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 go. We're on full flow forward. We're having a peak experience. 
we are particularly emotionally intuitively we are having a revelation look out for a dream a symbol a coincidence around that full moon that's going to give you some real magic to go onwards then we enter Scorpio season, which for us is very intense. It gets very primal. It's all, you know, life, death, rebirth, sex, obsession, money, power. And it asks us to focus on our power in a different way. Our power of being able to dive beneath the surface, our power of, of our intuition, our power of, of knowing our worth and understanding a, a whole differently. Scorpio is very different. Aries power is like, rah, let's go forward. Scorpio power is simmering and deep and, and plunges in to, to all the corners. And, and we're feeling that. But it also gives us a real dash of charisma. Anyway, my darlings, I hope wherever you are and whatever you're doing in the world that you are surrounded by loved and loved because you are a unique and beautiful soul and irreplaceable. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.